For whatever reason, this kind of geometry question where we're just kind of moving around a shape, putting angles on it, these things drive people nuts. My students get these wrong all the time. People think these are really hard. This is basic angle rules. So you gotta be able to do this. It's maybe a little tedious, but it's something you gotta be able to do pretty confidently and relatively quickly. So in the figure above, MQ and NR are intersect the point P, and P equals QP, so we'll come back to that. They didn't tell us that for no reason, and MP equals PR. What is the measure in degrees of angle QMR? So QMR is right there. So you're probably gonna need to draw this on your own scratch paper, but um, I'm gonna just use the picture here because I can and it's easier. But yeah, you're probably gonna need to do that. So I need to work my way into this triangle and right away, if these two lines NR and QM intersect, then that means this has gotta be 120 degrees because that's a supplementary angle. We could also put 60 here, but it doesn't really do me much because now I'm in the triangle. And, and that, that's perfect, right? So look at what they're telling me. They're telling me NP here is equal to, actually, let's do this. NP is equal to QP. Well, that's maybe good, uh, but I don't know. Those are triangles that I don't really want anything to do with. But here, when they tell me MP is equal to PR, well, that is a triangle that I got some knowledge about, right? That 120 is there, and that means that this is an isosceles triangle, meaning that this, the angle at M there is equal to this other angle at R. So even though this is the one I want, it, they're the same thing. So we just take our 180 degrees in a triangle, subtract out the 120 we've already got, that leaves us with 60, but be careful, right? That 60 is divided evenly between those two angles, so each of them is 30, right? We can double check. 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 120 is 180. So what is the measure of that angle? It is 30. This is rare in that they gave us information we didn't actually need. Like, why do we need the 70? Uh, that, again, that's very rare. The SAT does not often give us geometry information that we don't end up using, but it, it can happen. Um, so my advice is just draw the picture and put as much information on it as you can and just move through. Uh, my guess is just using the 70, there are other ways of getting this, but I'm pretty sure my way is the most efficient. But if you've got something even easier, put it in the comments, share your knowledge, and we'll all learn.